Hello guys, today I am telling you 10 things we don't buy that normal people don't buy that saves us money. This video is brought to you by our Dining on a Dime cookbook where you can eat better, spend less. We have our new hardcover to help you eat better, spend less, and save on your grocery bill today. Visit us at livingonadime.com to get your copy. Guys, today I'm giving you the 10 things that we don't buy that normal people buy. I realized we are not normal. I was shocked at this revelation, but <laughs> we aren't. Okay, number one, we don't buy boxes. So I was completely shocked when a few of my neighbors moved and they just went to Home Depot and bought boxes. Now, I know we're a book cup publishing company. I have all the boxes I want. But even before we started publishing our own and shipping our own books, I never bought boxes. What did we use instead? We would go to the grocery store in the morning right after they have stocked. And the best moving boxes are the banana boxes. Those types of larger boxes with the lids. Those are great. Those are the types of things I would use to move or use for packing or whatever. I would just go to the grocery store and pick up whatever boxes I need. Most of the time, they're more than happy to give them to you. So boxes. We don't buy boxes. Number two, rubber bands. This was mom's idea, and I realized I don't do that either. I did finally have to break down and buy a package of rubber bands hmm, last year, maybe. But <clears throat> I've been on my own for, what, 30 five years almost, something like that, 30 years. And I never bought rubber bands. I just used the rubber bands off of vegetables or when it came in a package, you I, you would just save the rubber bands. Mom saved the rubber bands, grandma saved the rubber bands. We just never buy rubber bands. We just always save them. So that's the next thing. Um, to go along with number one for the boxes, we never buy bubble wrap. Don't, whenever we move or whatever, I never buy bubble wrap. I just always save the bubble wrap that we have, but mostly I use other things to wrap. I'll use paper or I'll use towels or clothes if we're moving. If it's shipping it to somebody, I'll, I'll reuse newspaper, something like that. But never bought bubble wrap, except I did have to buy it for my business, but on a personal level never bought bubble wrap on um, at all ever ice cream buckets now this is just sort of buckets type thing i think i have maybe bought one bucket in my no i take that back i have bought three buckets in my life and two of those were for my homemade water filtration system and then the other one i did finally break down and have to get me a cleaning bucket cuz i needed a particular kind but what do we use you know the big ice cream buckets that have the big gallon of ice cream? I, th I think it's a gallon or yeah, I think it's a gallon of ice cream. Anytime we would use those, anytime we would get ice cream, we would buy it in those and then we would just save the buckets for painting, for carrying things, for gardening, for cleaning. Anytime we needed a bucket for anything, we would use the ice cream buckets from the ice cream. Waxed paper. Never hardly buy, oh my goodness, probably in 30 years I've maybe bought two things of wax paper. I never buy wax paper. What do I use? I use cereal box liners. This is a great tip that I don't hear many people using, but you can use those cereal box liners. Put your crackers in there, smash them up, and then dip your meat in them for frying. You can use them for rolling out your meat. You could use it for storing food, but those cereal box liners go a long way for food prep and food storage. And the best part is you can just throw it away and they were free to begin with. Well, sort of free. Something that you would throw away that you normally wouldn't use. Number six, string, yarn, that kind of thing. We just always save the string or yarn when we use it for something else. Um, you can cut the edges off of shirts and use that to tie 
things up. You can save old yarn. Well, not old, but you can save pieces of yarn that you've used for something where it's come undone, that type of thing. String. If something's tied with string, just save the string. I mean, Grandma had a string ball. Well, she would just wrap the string on there and just keep it going. Whenever she needed a piece of string, she would just save or whenever she needed the string, she would just go to her yarn ball or her string ball that she had saved and just take it off of there. Now, these next four are going to really hit home hard. So, you got your medication taken. Are you ready? Here we go. Paper towels. Ah, yes, paper towels. So, I sat and figured... I got a new roll of paper towels six months ago, and it's about half, maybe halfway used, maybe. I, Mom and I don't use paper towels hardly at all. We use cut-up rags. If we have t-shirts from the boys or whoever, we'll cut those up into rags. We will use old towels. We will use old wash rags, but... For the majority of our cleaning, that type of thing, we never use paper towels. We just use a rag, and if it's really nasty, we'll just throw it away. If it's just like, if I'm just cleaning the sink or something, I'll just throw it in the wash and rewash it. But if it's oily, that type of thing, I will put it in the trash. Don't feel guilty about it at all. Reusing something, saving a ton of money. I was shocked when I saw people said that some people said they use a roll of paper towels a day. A day! I couldn't believe it. So paper towels. The next one is... <laughs> okay. Are you sure you're braced? Clorox wipes. Disinfecting wipes. Wipes of any kind. Now, I did use baby wipes when my kids were little. But, well, when my last two kids, for my first two kids, I just used wash rags and cloth diapers. But the second two, I did use baby wipes. But cleaning wipes, I do have Clorox wipes in my house. But I hardly ever use them. A thing of Clorox wipes, once again, will last me a year. I mean, seriously, it'll last me like an entire year. A whole container of Clorox wipes. And we're not talking the big one. We're talking the little one that's like this big. So Clorox wipes. That's another thing that we don't buy. That we save money on. Once again. We clean with rags. And a spray bottle with cleaner. And that's it. And that gets the majority of our cleaning. The next one. Dishwasher and laundry pots. You know the little pods that you just throw in the dishwasher, throw in the laundry? I know. Those things are super convenient. I get it. They're really nice. But if you are in debt, is it really worth three, four, five? I can't remember. It's like three. I don't know. It was a ridiculous amount. I think it was like five. I think if I remembered right, it was 30 cents for a dishwasher pod and it was three cents for the store brand powder detergent. It was some crazy difference. It's not really worth it. I don't think, I tried them before, I don't think that they clean that much better. Maybe they clean slightly better, but it really was not worth the extra expense. So dishwasher pods, laundry pods, that kind of thing. This is the big one. I always get comments on this, but <laughs> this is the big one. Number 10. You ready? Scott toilet paper. Oh, I know you're going to say, but it's the cheapest. No, it's not. Here's the thing, guys. I did the great toilet paper challenge of 2018. I tested like, I think it was 15 different toilet papers. And believe it or not, for the cost per wipe, Scott tissue came out the second from the top most expensive. Scott tissue was the most. Why? Because you can't calculate by the square. You have to calculate by the cost per wipe. What does that mean? 
How many squares does it take to prevent moisture breakthrough? It's an important thing. Scott tissue, you have to use a lot to prevent moisture breakthrough. If you use a thicker toilet tissue, you don't have to use near as many squares, three to four squares, that's it. So Scott tissue is something that we do not buy, that the majority of, that a lot of people do, we don't buy that. So that's my top 10 things that we don't buy that normal people buy. <laughs> <laughs> to save money, please check us out at livingonadime.com and we will see you guys next time.